Hi, I'm Dr. Pratyush Anjan. I'm consultant cataract and refractive surgeon and medical director ASG Super Speciality Eye Hospital, Varanasi, India. And uh, this is the cartwheel chop, uh, which I usually teach to my fellows. So after capsulotomy, I try to do a hydro in which the nucleus is popped. And once this is popped, then under vision from the equator, you can draw a straight line to the center where the nucleus is impelled and you you know you chop this uh, nucleus into pieces like this and uh, you do a supra capsular chop but you do a emulsification in the back the idea is like this so that uh, uh, you know fellows they don't have you know young surgeons they don't have such idea uh, during the chopping so they are safe so that's how you do in a real life scenario uh, for experienced surgeon also i think i'm using this for you know, many of my hard cataracts so this is this is how you do it in the real life scenario you try to pull the nucleus up and from equator you try to you know give a horizontal chop under vision so that you are not uh, disturbing the capsule and you rotate and do multiple horizontal chops so that you sculpt the nucleus into various small manageable pieces and then you push them in into the bag again to start the emulsification process which ideally should take place in the bag so you know sometimes it's not possible because the pieces are big and they don't go easily so that's how so a hard white cataract is sculpted and emulsified like this so another technique uh, in which uh, another video in which I have tried to explain this in a little slower version. So the phaco probe is impelled in the center and one end is pulled out from horizontal you try to you know under vision so it's not a blind procedure. Uh, mostly I teach my fellows to start from stop and chop and from stop and chop to direct chop in between you can use this cartwheel chop so once you have mastered the stop and chop then going to direct chop is sometimes you know tricky so in between that bridge is a cartwheel chop so after making a trench you just impel it deep enough so that it holds pull the nucleus one pole up and then chop and once all nucleus is sculpted, OVD is injected to push nuclear pieces back to the capsular bag and then you emulsify in the bag. So that makes nucleus management very easy, especially in hard cataracts. So this one is also a brown leathery cataract, difficult to you know manage, but very well managed by your cartwheel chop. I've been using this technique since last 6-7 years and uh, that was the time when I started teaching young fellows how to do FECO. So I understood their problem is and that came as uh, a technique to you know help them overcome their fears and learn this technique. So this emulsification is going on in the back. You are little at, you know, not near the capsule, you are in mid bag or just at the pupillary plane level. So that makes you safe. And I have done more than uh, approximately 30,000 surgeries with this technique absolutely flawless results not much effect on endothelium in fact none all my patients see very fine immediately after surgery and next day they are absolutely uh, very independent from that eye thank you thank you very much for patiently watching this video thank you very much